catch some big fish. I'm excited about it. And uh, this is my birthday fishing day. So I'm hoping that I will receive a present from the old fishies and maybe a 10 pound bass. If you guys are wondering what we're starting off with today, we got a Lose Custom Pro on a Mach 2 rod and then I actually have a blade bait on this. I've been running the fish head on this spot recently. There's so much fish loaded in this pocket right here. And so we're gonna start here, work out towards the main lake and work out towards the mouth. But there's so many fish that are stacked up in here. All the bait is up in this pocket and it's just gonna be one of those crazy winter fishing days. All right, let's get started and they're popping right there. What if I caught one first cast? I actually got Katie with me by the way, she's back there. Hopefully we can get her PV today. I think we're gonna catch one this cast. They're blowing up out there. Imagine like first cast, double up, five pounders. That's how one hit me. It's like, just slapped it. Yeah. Oh gosh. Slapped it again. He's right under the boat. All right guys, well Katie's gonna keep throwing this blade bait, but, and I know there he is, first cast. You can't make this up. Oh, it's a big one. Big one. I need a net. Get ready. It's a giant. I mean, giant. Oh my God. Oh. Is that not the craziest thing in the world? Cast. That's a three and a half pounder. What did we just say though? We can't get him to bite the, the fish head and the, and the other thing, you pick up a crankbait, something about a crankbait, first cast, three and a half pounder. Look at that, we're catching bigs today. I think these are the big ones down there. We're gonna fire them up on this crank. That's a three and a half pound bass. You can just set it down, I'll get in soon. All right guys, there we go. Third or second fish of the day, solid three pounder. The first one was a three pounder. This one's a little heftier, maybe a half a pound bigger. And uh, you know, we're throwing the blade baits. We're throwing the fish heads. We weren't getting bites. We murdered them on those baits the other day. And uh, you want to show him something different. That's exactly what I showed him. I showed him a crankbait, something he can react to. And something about a crankbait, bass just love to bite. So what we're going to do is throw multiple casts down there with crankbaits. See if we can fire this big school of bass up because these are large ones. These aren't nothing small. And I think we could uh, possibly hook into like a 10 pounder. Get him back in the water. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There he goes. That's a beast. All right, we're gonna throw back in there some crankbaits, see if we can catch another big one. What's the key to success right here? So the key to success is getting the bait on the bottom. So you have to, does that mean reeling faster? So what I like to do is when I throw the crankbait here, I'll show you, this will be good for the video too. I'll throw it out there, right? Yeah. And to get that crankbait down, you have to reel it. So I like to reel it fast at the beginning. Uh -huh. And then once I get it on the bottom, I slow it down. And then it's good every once in a while, you know, just give it like, if you just want to stop it and kill it, or if you want to speed it up, like that can trigger the fish to bite. Can I, keep I keep it down because it's going to help it dig deeper. You shouldn't have a problem. I mean, we're not too deep. We're only in 12 foot. Remember, they were, they were stacked out in this middle. Oh, I thought I've hooked, hooked one a few times. That's got slapped. Nah. <laughs> God, I took the rod out of my hand. Dude, that's another good one. I don't need the net. That's another three pounder. They're, why are they so big? He about jerked it out of my hand. That guy's cracked. Look at that. He's going. Is that a fish head? No, it's a crank. Keep throwing it down there. Look at how he ate. Look, he's not even hooked. The bill is holding it. Look at that. He ate it that much. You can't tell me that fish isn't cracked out. He ate it head first. That is the most aggressive bass I've caught all day. Look at his lip, his lips ripped. He's been caught a few times. It's not a three pounder, but that's a two. It's a two all day. Three fish for eight and a half pounds. That's a good little start. Jeez, that's a dang good one. Oh yeah, it's a good one. This might be, woo, this might be a keeper right here. Shoo, baby. Okay, I've got 10 pound test right here, y'all. So the odds of getting this fish in 
without a net. I'm gonna have to use a net. It's, it's just going. Oh yeah. This might be a keeper. This might be a keeper. This is one of those I was seeing the marks. Come here. It's not a giant, but it's pretty good. If I can figure out how to use my net, I'll be okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a hybrid. This is actually a hybrid right here. Oh, it's a big one. Come here, baby. Cannot get you without the net. You were too large. There we go. Yeah, Lee, y'all. This thing is a freaking tank. It's a freaking tank. Holy cow. Holy cow. This is the exact mix of a striper and a white bass. So get this thing out holy cow y'all this is a freaking fatty oh no 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 ah this is how you break hooks off a of jerk bait okay god lee look at that butterball sally right there y'all holy cow all right i'm gonna stick it in the live hole just a second okay so if y'all live in texas you should download this app this is the uh the outdoor annual and it'll show you for hunting regulations fishing regulations it's, it's really nice but anyway statewide regulations for striper and hybrids it's 18 inches except for lake texoma they have a different one and you can keep five in any combination so that's one i'm pretty sure it's over 18 inches where we're going to measure it just to make sure yeah that's it so outdoor annual it's basically like having the booklet that you would get at sporting goods stores on your phone so it really helps we're just gonna make sure oh. and that is over 18 so mouth is touching and the tail is over 18 inches just over 18 it's 18 and a quarter i thought it would have been 19 but it's over that was awesome y'all if y'all have never felt the fight of a good size hybrid or striper it is intense and that was on 10 pound line on a jerk bait on the scout so i think i'm gonna make some more casts out here on this point this is kind of like the the lead-in area for them to go spawn and it's it's similar to the bass right now honestly with that big hybrid i don't really need to catch that many more fish because that thing makes up for like five or six white bass in itself it's so chunky and thing's gonna be delicious we'll get to the cooking portion of this here in a minute but right now let's have some more fun catching fish Hooked up, hooked up on a freaking drum, baby. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh my God, I thought you were the one. That is a big, ugly drum. Hi, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let you go, buddy. Get out of here. Big, ugly face. I'll eat one of those one day, but it's not going to be today. Made a little switcheroo to El Grande Recon. And I just landed a monster drum. Okay. I moved to the other side of this little hole where I just had the big hybrid. I'm going to try to get me a few more. They're just roaming around here. Oh, there's one. Got him. Got him. Uh, what, do you, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? stripies stripies yeah that's the stripe one and again you can see the elongated body and their stripes are perfectly clean there's no broken up stripes that that's a true striper right there so those those and the hybrids have to be 18 inches long to keep oh it's probably gonna be a striper though he's just going vicious mode no it's a white bass yeah, no, it is a striper daggum. He's just so fat. Come here, buddy. That's gonna be that striper again. 
Oh god, he got me. Okay. The old big curve.